I've been dancing since I was three years old. I've trained in ballet, tap, lyrical, contemporary, jazz, and hip hop. My favorite would probably be tap. That's what I travel with the most, and it's what I really love. And I feel like that's what I'm strongest in and what I'm most confident in. My junior year, we went to PT for my ankle, and we also worked on my knees. And then this past year in October, we worked on my back. I started to realize a lot of pain, like even just sitting in the car, it was like this sharp pain on both sides of my back. I met Tara through her mom's room because her mom is a tap dance instructor. And when Tara started having issues, her mom was like, you know, I know someone who's really gauges her interest towards performing arts medicine and wanted to bring her in and get a dance assessment done for her back. Through her treatment, what they found was that she did have a small stress fracture in her back. So we started out with a lot of the basic core training, and then as she started progressing and getting stronger, then that's where I really felt like my dance interest could come into play, that I could start working her back into dance with dance-specific training, because having been a dancer, I know what she needs to get back to, and I know those specific modifications to give her to safely return. I'm her teacher as well, but first of all, her mother. And it was my concern that she get healed quickly and in the best way possible. As her dance teacher, I wanted her healed quickly and to be able to continue to do what she loves to do. Mainly what I missed out on, that was kind of our time for doing choreography. So I had to learn a lot from sitting in a chair or marking and I was walking around a lot while people were dancing just to know my spots. And I think that affected some parts that I got to a certain degree or sometimes where I was put just because I couldn't do things. We wanted someone who would understand what I do and she'd understand what things I could start doing again, so that was nice to have. The surgeons that we saw, the doctors that we saw, um, the techs that we saw, they all spoke very just about the physical and the mechanics of it. But the people at OSU, Sam, being a dancer, knew exactly the language we were talking and where we wanted to get back to being, and she was able to help us get there with, with confidence and with so much progress. One thing I was afraid of losing was my flexibility in my back, because I do have a pretty flexible back. So I was worried I wouldn't be able to have that back again, but I do, so I'm glad about that. The sooner you get better, the sooner you can get back into things. And the longer you wait, the more chances you have of not being able to do competitions. And even in the long run, you could not be able to do anything of what you wanted to do, and that's not worth it.